will this Vogue video turn out to be amazing. You will find out everything you'll need to know. Mm. Hi Vogue, I'm Karen Gillan and this is my perfect night in. Welcome to my humble abode. Come on! Oh, hey Vogue, I didn't see you there. So what I do in here generally is I write my horror movies. Kind of sit here like a little bit of a, a weirdo and just kind of think up things that would be really, really scary. Oh, okay, I'm gonna show you this. In the Marvel movies, my character is called Nebula and somebody made me a puppet of her. And she talks like that. She has a very different voice to me. And then I'm like, hey Nebula. No one's ever come in here, so I've never gotten to show them all of my nerdy memorabilia. This is signed. The little girl from The Exorcist, Linda. These are all <laughs> dolls of me. I think I'm coming across as a narcissist. This is a guide to getting it on. And I don't need any guide. I just want you to know, like, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Here's something that my friend made for me. It's the pronunciation of sure, which I think is, I'm still pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> And I know that Cher pronounces her name Cher, but she's also wrong. But it still works. It was like a Spice Girls Polaroid camera that I kept in mint condition. Nope. Oh, I have something over here. It's an infinity gauntlet. The thing that controls the universe and killed my father Thanos in the Marvel movies. And I've got one on my own. You can't see these. These are top secret. Stop looking. There are loads of projects that you're not allowed because I haven't announced them yet, but here's a sneak peek. You know, it's interesting because like when I'm writing, I go into like a really wired state of mind. And so I really have to switch off afterwards. I will kind of work until about 6 p.m. and then try not to work much further beyond that because also then I can't sleep at night because I've scared myself. So here we are in the piano room. get nail polish all the way down the keys when I do that. I've always dreamed of having a Steinway piano. Um, it's been like one of my big missions in life to, to finally buy one for myself. And so this is a vintage Steinway. It says it there. It's amazing. I love it. Here's a Russian doll of myself, but I'm extremely hesitant to show you another doll of myself. <laughs> many do I have? But these are kind of fun. Here's me as a character I played and another character that I played. A fan from Russia actually made that, which was cool. She was like, here's your ma Matroshka doll. Oh, also, I have Jumanji. The weird thing is I had this before I was in the films because I was a huge Jumanji fan. But let's not, not do that because 2020 already feels like a crazy game of Jumanji. I bought this Scrabble board because I saw it in a Vogue video that Taylor Swift did. And I was like, that's the coolest looking Scrabble board. I'm having that. So thanks Vogue for that recommendation. It's really fun to kind of sit in this room and have somebody playing the piano or, or, or listening to some music on here. And then also having maybe a nice glass of whiskey. So I guess I would end my day around six o'clock. Something that I really love to do is just completely stagnate on the sofa. I love it. I get into my PJs and I put on some trashy reality television, which I love. Leave him, Amy, he's not worthy. I kind of like slowly switch my brain off. It is like a form of meditation. <laughs> and the show that I like to watch, Love Island. I mean, come on. It's like David Attenborough with humans dating. It's like a perfect combination for me. Love this show. Welcome to my wardrobe. So this is where I keep all of my vintage clothes. Look at this. Look at those shoulders. Yeah, that, that's a fun person that wears this. Not a boring person, a fun person. This is a trip down memory lane. Look at this guy. This was one of my first purchases when I moved to London when I was 17 years old. This Louis Vuitton dress. We're talking structure. I wore it to an award ceremony and won the award. You have to have this as a Scottish girl because when you go home, you're going to need it when you walk around in the fields. I like to wander around the house in this. So that's probably quite creepy, isn't it? Here are my prized possessions because this is where the jumpers live. Or sweaters, as you say in America. This guy. Look at this Christmas jumper. 
You know, I think it was a really happy Christmas jumper where, where children were climbing the tree, but then the sewing came apart. Now it looks like they're falling down the tree and it's become much more sinister. <sighs> Here I am in my bathtub. I love this thing more than anything when I do really need to relax at the end of the day. I always have to get in here and I put in all sorts of oils and salts and it is such a dream. Oh, and also sometimes I put in water. <laughs> Welcome to my evening skincare routine. It mainly consists of aloe vera gel. And so it doesn't feel like you're putting all these chemicals on your skin. My thought is you only get one set of skin in your life. And so therefore you should just treat yourself or swipe samples from the airport or something. Thank you so much for joining me for my perfect night in. And now it's time for me to put my plugs in and hit the sack. Ah. So I guess all that's left to say is good night, Vogue. Hi Vogue, I'm Karen Gillen and to watch more Vogue videos, subscribe here. Subscribe here? Yes, that was right. <laughs>